Hey there, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. I'm coming to you this week live from a brand new advertiser here at the Fisherman Magazine, Black Hall Outfitters. Now they're located at 132 Shore Road in Old Lyme, Connecticut. They offer direct access to the Black Hall River and easy access to the Connecticut River as well as Long Island Sound. They are a full service marina with 50 slips and they also have a wide selection of Old Town kayaks, ocean kayaks, they offer sails, rentals, and accessories. They also have a bunch of stand-up paddle boards, and they offer lessons, rentals, and sails in those as well, so be sure to head on down and check them out. Moving on to the report, we're going to start off as always in Connecticut, and you'll see a little bit of a theme to this week's pictures, and that would be kids enjoying a day on the water in Long Island Sound. To start off, we're going to begin with Cody Wilder, actually doing a little freshwater fishing. He got a largemouth lunker bass that he got while he's fishing at Bantam Lake recently. Cody is no stranger to the Fisherman Magazine, as he was in print a few years ago with another big largemouth bass that he landed. Remember, now is a great time to get out in your local lake, pond, or river for some awesome summertime largemouth bass action. Then next up, we have Teddy Zabawa with a bass that he jigged up while fishing with his dad, Mark, in Long Island Sound. Mark said they released the bass after the picture, and he's been having a blast introducing young Teddy to the striped bass fishery that we have in Long Island Sound. Bassing has been somewhat hit or miss lately. You really is the fish have yet to settle into any sort of summer pattern, but I do know of some really big fish, including a 55 plus pounder landed by a good friend of mine this week. So there's some big fish around. Lastly, in Connecticut, we're going to mention the great bottom fishing taking place off the entire Connecticut coast from one end of Long Island Sound to the other for fluke, black sea bass, and scup. And we have a picture of Cooper Medeiros with a pair of big scup that he landed off of Old Saybrook this week. Scup are really starting to spread out throughout the sound now, and both shore and anglers have been doing well on them. Over Rhode Island, the best fishing remains targeting bottom fish with scup, black sea bass, and fluke leading the way, since a striper bite around Block Island has yet to really materialize. Robin Nash of Quanty Bait and Tackle snuck out for a little fishing off of Watch Hill this week, and she topped off her catch for the day with a big black sea bass. Remember, with the one fish limit on sea bass open effective July 2nd, those big three to five plus pounders that have been in the area all summer long can now hit your cooler. The Francis Le Re Re fleet reports some very good fluke fishing going on South County beaches on out to the East Grounds off of Block Island. East Grounds seem to have more of the big fluke right now while the waters closer to the mainland on over to Newport are holding more of the bigger sea bass, but really both areas are producing consistently well. Up in Massachusetts, we're seeing some isolated paws of decent striped bass around Boston Harbor, Barnstable Harbor, and Provincetown with some shots of bass moving through the canal when the tides line up. But the big news this week was the awesome bluefin tuna fishing taking place east of Chatham. As our friends at the Goose Hummock put it, big fish and lots of them have been caught for the past 10 days, so it's time to break out the 80s and 130s. Out east right now is the best giant bite we've seen on the troll in over seven years. In case you need to upgrade your gear to tangle with these big fish, the Goose has plenty of 130s and 80s in stock, as well as the big Chatham Special long rods help you subdue these bigger fish. Then continuing with the hot tuna bite, my friend Captain John of Fish Chatham Charters has been hammering away at the Giants out east as well. He's been out to the tuna grounds just about every day that the weather allows for it, and the action has been great in his boat with fish up into the 70 inch class on most trips. I'm going to finish up this week's video report with some uh, news about the Boston Harbor flounder fishing. And Captain Jason Colby, a little sister charter, has checked in a few times the last couple of days and he said he found the mother load of big black backs this week and he's been limiting out, or nearly so, on most every trip. The se this season has been similar to what he saw last year and if that trend continues then the last few weeks of July should produce some of the biggest fish of the season before he moves on down to Westport in search of bass, fluke, sea bass, and blackfish. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.